Hey everyone, thank you for joining me as I break down the good and the bad of Amazon Prime Video's new superhero action flick, The Samaritan, or Samaritan. It's confusing. There's a lot of movies with the word Samaritan in it. I think it's just Samaritan. But it's starring Sylvester Stallone and that badass kid from Euphoria that needs a serious spanking in that show. I heard about this movie like maybe a year or two ago. I kind of had some interest in it, a non franchise superhero film we don't really get that too often anymore and Sylvester Stallone is starring in it so it should at least be decent it was originally scheduled to be released in theaters but then when Amazon brought or bought MGN they said okay we're gonna put this on streaming it's not gonna make any money which made me think hmm this might not be a good movie if they didn't think it was good enough for theaters were they right well, let's start with the premise. Sam Clary, who's played by Javon Walter, is a young boy who learns that a superhero who may have gone missing 20 years ago after an epic battle with his arch nemesis might actually still be around. And being the biggest fanboy that he is of this character or this, this person, he's determined to find out. And there's a bunch of fallout from that, ex uh, that exploration of him finding who the real person is. Let's start with the good. Samaritan's a gritty, old school superhero action flick before there was shared universes and the MCU and the Arrowverse and the DCU or any of these shared things where things are a little bit lighter, a little bit poppier, a little bit pulpier. It's, a, it's dark, it's gritty, it has a, a made up city with a very straightforward story which is very refreshing these days. It's not super convoluted. You don't have to really know anything in the backstory. It is based off a comic book graphic novel. It's loosely adapted. It reminds me of old school movies, like kind of like The Watchmen, not of that quality, but kind of that feel. Or even movies back in the day like Blade, Spawn, Steel, and things like that, where they, how they used to make movies like that, where they take a uh, grizzled, old older person who doesn't want to do the right thing but is thrusted into doing it and there's like a young person that inspires them to do so that looks up to them that's the basis of this story Sylvester Stallone plays this grizzled uh hero that used to be a hero that thought everyone thought died in the battle against his arch nemesis named nemesis 20 years ago now he's just living at this older dude that just uh doesn't leave his house much collects garbage and and minds his business while javon walton's character sam lives in this grand night city that's run down by poverty gang violence uh drug abuse and he's just looking for Samaritan, the person who was Samaritan for hope. The first really good thing about this movie was the relationship between Sylvester Sloan's character Joe and Javon Walters Sam. They're, the way they played off each other and had kind of like a father to son relationship was really, really entertaining and amusing because they had really good back and forth. Either him trying to teach him how to fix things, teach him how to fight, teach him like life lessons and like selling him like the way he's going is not the wrong way to go it, it was really nice to see that relationship build out and i think that both performances really played off well with each other with sam being this bo young boy who's trying to stay out of trouble and listen to his mom and, and is really close to tipping point of being in a gang or dealing drugs trying to find a little light in this person that he believes to be the superhero he's admired tagged all over the place to be whilst uh joe not somebody that's really trying to mentor anybody or trying to be bothered at all and just that juxtaposition of uh, joe pulling sam out of the darkness away from all the bad stuff that's going on in the city and the way sam is pulling joe back into the light and being coming the, the person that he thinks he should be was really 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 good and the story is pretty is pretty pretty clear cut pretty simple and you can kind of predict a lot of the story beats that's going on but the two leads are very likable and also all the antagonists and everything like that are, are entertaining their caricatures there's even a person in this movie that reminds me of like a caricature of kashi 69 and the way they dressed to him and made him made him look but all of it felt like a old school superhero comic you would pick up the origins of a character or beginning of a story that you can really enjoy that would blossom to something else a little bit more complicated and what was interesting is that towards the ending of the movie there's a little bit of a twist that was foreshadowed throughout the movie but i did not 
catch which i thought was really really clever the the script of this movie is not super clever but i think the execution of that twist and how it was revealed and the way they planned it out was pretty pretty good and it kept me really engaged because the best part of this movie is the last 20 15 to 20 minutes where it comes to this epic action climax because you know superhero film has to end in an epic uh, climax i thought that it was gritty it was dark it was brutal and it was well choreographed the cgi was pretty good as well and stallone looked like a total badass and i believe that he was this great hero uh, 20 years ago and now he's just older but can still do all these great crazy things let's talk about the bad so first off i'm going to say that julius avery made one of my favorite movies a couple years ago and that was overlord i think he did a great job with that film i haven't seen many of his other works but i was excited to see what he had to do here because i thought that film was really really great but here i don't think it was his directing that was the problem i think it was the editing of what he directed because there were parts in the middle of this film where the pacing just felt really weird and off and it was would cut from one scene to another while that first scene that got cut off of the going to the next scene didn't feel like it was fully finished and also it didn't i didn't understand what how a character got from here to here and what day it was because the cycle of the day changed it was just really weird and really choppy in the middle of the movie where i think that things were really nice and i thought it was gonna ramp up but it kind of slowed down too much and got really choppy so that's one of the only faults i have with this movie overall and in, in a creative aspect because other than that i thought most of the things that they pulled off it was pretty good things that i think other people are not gonna like i think that the movie is very cheesy because it has that old school mentality that doesn't take uh the lore and everything like that super serious to make it feel super grounded like the city being called grand night city the hero being samaritan and the villain name being nemesis some of the lines and the things that people say are very cheesy and very stereotypical and things like that the performances are not going to blow you away i thought that they were entertaining and i didn't mind the cheese but there's some people that's not if you could as you can see by most reviews of this movie are not going to be entertained or enjoy that so if you're not into kind of like cliche cheesy lines and storylines this movie might be a turn off for you and it's also a one minor nitpick i thought that the cgi and the vfx for the most part in this movie was really really good considered that this is like a mid-budget low-budget superhero film but they do something where they go into the past to show samaritan and they do some de-aging stuff on uh, sylvester sloan's face and it's not done well <laughs> it's really obvious it doesn't look good and it kind of took me out of the movie and i kind of laughed at it uh I, I, ironically I, I you know obviously it meant it to be serious but it looked pretty funny to me but other than that there was other things that they did that practical effects and vfx and cgi that i thought was pretty really or pretty good or great throughout let's go my verdict overall i really enjoyed this movie i went in with low expectations because of some of the reviews that i saw and the fact that it went from a theatrical release to a straight to streaming sylvester alone hasn't had the best track record with movies in a while recently basically and I came out very pleasantly surprised by loving the performances and the characters from the the main two leads and some of the supporting cast here and there and some of the villains. The action I was entertaining. I thought the story was had a lot of heart to it and had a lot of uh, not a lot of death or meaning. But I think that if if I was a kid, just like I love that Steel movie back then, it's not a really well made movie. But as a kid, I thought it was the best thing ever. Same thing with like something like Spawn. I think this is a better made version those movies with that said i'm gonna give this a c did you like it did you hate it what would you rate the samaritan tell me down, all your thoughts down below what you thought about this movie if you saw it and based on my review if you didn't see it yet are you gonna check it out on amazon prime and stream it now if you are a subscriber hit that like button and if you're not hit the subscribe button like the video hit the notification bell so you can be notified of my reviews reactions and more you can watch more of my content right now